Welcome guys, so I'm going to show you how to create a simple array using C++ ID code blocks. So let us start now, let us go to the, a little bit theory. So this is the array, array is a collection of data elements of these same elements. For instance, array, I have array of 0, 1 and 2. So what is 0, 1 and 2? These are the indexes. So for instance, the number of arrays here is 3. So that means when I say, what's the array index number 0? For instance, my number in the table is 50. What's the array index number 1? That means the number in the table is 55. What's the array index of number 2? The number is 58. But in counting, normally we start with 1, 2, 3. But in computer, it starts with 0, 1, 2. So let us do an example. So now getting back to my code blocks here, I'll start by writing a code of integers. So file, new file, C++ source, then next. Of course, I'm using C++ programming language. Next, then file name. I'll go to the desktop and C++, then I'll create a folder here, going by the name arrays. Inside this folder, I'll write my program will be arrays. Okay, then save and finish. So I'll start by writing a program. So I'll comment first, creating arrays. Okay, then I'll start by preprocessing. Include IO stream. Yes, then using using namespace std. There you are. Then I'm calling my main function. This is it. So and I put this bracket. So this is where I'm gonna write my program here in the between. So let us start with integers here. This one that means 50, 55, 58. So the number of array is three. So so I'll start with integer because the values are in numbers. Then I'll name the array, for instance, numbers, NMB, okay, NUMB. Then the array, you need to put square brackets like this. So I'll put the number of arrays is 3. Then going back again here is equal to, now I want to tell the computer what are the number of arrays to be stored in the computer like a table, a row table. So I'll put brackets. The brackets you'll put is these curly brackets. So I'll put, for instance, 50, comma, 55, comma, 58. Then I'll close this. By, then I'll now try to call it by commanding my computer. So C output, then the array number, this one here. Then I want to call the array index now. Because there are three number of arrays, but as I told you earlier, that means the array index is 0, 1, 2. So for instance, for instance, if I call the array array 1, array 1 here, if I want to print this, let me finish up, return 0. So we want to print this. That means it will print 0, 1, 2. The index position is 55. So the number will be 55. So let us try. So let us build here. Make sure there is 0 errors. Then run. So the number should be 55. Let us wait. See, the answer is 55 here. So let us close. So let us change the position. Let us put 0 now. Let us build and run. The answer will be 50. Bingo. Same applies. Let us change now to 2. Build. Then run. The answer is 58. So that's it. So the array index is 0, 1, 2. So the position of arrays, these are the called the array indexes. But the number of arrays is 3. So this was for integers. So let us try another example, for instance, for strings. So getting back to our Excel now, let me try to unhide here and let us see what's, what's available. Here, so for instance, now these are the strings, the names here. Arnold, Titus, let me, let me change Titus here to, to Jose. Okay, <laughs> Jose, Titus, Lulu. So these are the strings, so these are the names. So let us try now to put this into our C++ program. So let us get back to our C++ program here. Let us, let me delete this. Now let us come to here. So now it's not integer again, that means you put strings here string then these are not numbers so these are the names so root reasons name like this one okay then as usual the number of array indexes are three so let us put three but the values here are the names so that means if they are the names we delete these not numbers again so we put double string like this okay then we'll start jose then comma, then Titus, then comma, then Lulu. Okay, 
that's it so let us get back now let us print now or oh, just output see output for instance we want name okay but array index number two for instance then we close here by putting this one so when we build this when we run again that means we print zero one two lulu will be printed so let us run okay bingo so lulu is printed the same applies so let us put position now zero we run we build first then we run so that means the position one is jose so looking here position zero sorry it's jose see so this is how it works same applies so if you put position one that means the answer will be titus so let us build then let us run titus great so this is how you keep strings like calling in an array in a table that you have names then you have like for instance numbers you can create of any or decimal numbers so that's it so let us see now how to create the one like maybe like i want to show all the names jose titus and lulu you can try to change a bit so how do we do this let me try to show you something here let me delete this you can use a for loop something like a for loop so four then into brackets now because it's a loop it's a number which is counting so you can put integer i for instance equals to zero then this one here then i equals to because there are three indexes so we put less than three but now we want to add like a loop like a continuation like it should count it should go from one row to another row go from one row to another row that means we close this then we'll put i plus plus so this is like a additional additional goes from one row to another row so if it was a column it goes from one column to a column because it's an array so then after this for loop condition then from here just put enter here so we go to another row so that means now we output output now because we have our we are calling now our array for name here this is it then but name but an array of i inside that means the name should be in terms of row like jump from one row to another so that means it will be like this then and line so this what we are doing here is we are we want to print all those names jose titus and lulu using for loop so this is a loop like a loop i can comment here for loop here you see so now when we print this that means we'll be creating i mean we'll be creating a table of jose titus and lulu at the same time by printing them all of them so let us try to build here and run see jose titus and lulu i've printed them like a table so you can now go on and print something in a complicated i'll show you in another video how to create arrays for loops like a sort of a table so i'll show you in the next video so this is the end this is how we are doing it but hope you've enjoyed this tutorial but you need to subscribe so that you can understand more videos because i'll be creating more videos so that you can understand but this was just a simple creation of array using c plus plus and code blocks ide thank you a lot